Okay, first graders, so the next thing we're going to do is add some details to our work. So in this first one, when it's just um, nice and calm out, we're going to add something, someone's playing on the beach. So maybe we'll add a sandcastle. Like they built a sandcastle because it's such a calm, beautiful day. They just decided to go to the beach, build a sandcastle. So I'm going to draw a sandcastle right here. You can design your sandcastle. You can decide how you want your sandcastle to look. I'm making mine look kind of like a castle castle, so it's going to go like that. And I'm going to draw a line over, curved line, line over. And the next thing I'm going to do is draw another layer on there, mm, just like that. You can make your sandcastle whatever design you want, you choose. And then I think I'm going to make a little flag on the top of it. Sometimes when we make sandcastles at the beach, we put little things sticking out of there. So I think I'm going to put one just like this. And I think I'm going to make it look just like this other flag here, because it's a calm day, so it's not going to be blowing anywhere. I'm going to draw that little flag sticking down like that. So you can go ahead and draw your sandcastle however you want it. And I think maybe, uh, maybe I'll draw a little shovel sticking out of the sand here. So I'm going to draw a little curved line and a curved line and then two little lines up and a handle like that. And then I'll draw some sand down here like somebody was in the middle of digging and left their sand there, left their sand shovel there. So I have a nice little scene where People are playing on the beach because it's nice and calm, so they built a sand castle. They made a little dug in the sand with their sand shovel. And then in the next one, um, you can decide. You can draw another sand castle if you want, or maybe you could um, add some other details, like maybe I'll draw a sand bucket here. So I'm going to draw an oval. And then I'm going to draw two lines down. And then I'm going to draw a curved line over. It's a pretty big sand bucket. And then I think I'll draw a little curved line for the handle. Handle on that bucket just like that. So it looks like somebody's playing. And again, it's just a light breeze, so that one's just kind of sitting there. the strong wind one. When I think of strong wind, I think of a perfect day to fly a kite. So when I go out to fly a kite, I'm going to draw my kite flying in the air and I can maybe draw someone's hands holding onto the kite right here. So the first thing I'm going to do, kind of off to the side, kind of close to this flagpole, you're going to draw four little tiny ovals on top of each other, just like this. One, two, three, four. And that's going to be like his fingers curling around something. So you've got four fingers curving around because he's going to be holding on to something like this. Okay. So we've got those four things there. And then we're going to leave a little space about the width of your thumb and do four more over here for the other hand. Or little, little ovals like that. Just like that. And then we're going to draw the thing he's holding on to, which is just going to be a curved line from the top of this hand over to the top of this line. And then from the bottom of this one over to the bottom of this one. Notice how they start kind of almost in the middle of the finger and over. And then we're going to do a little curve like this around the outside of the fingers. And that's the hole that the hand goes through. And then we need to finish off the hand. So on the top, we're going to start right here on this corner. This corner. I'm going to draw a little oval sticking up like this. And the same thing on this side. Start in this corner and do a little oval sticking up like this. That's the thumb sticking up in the air, kind of like a thumbs up. And then we're going to do a little line over from here and a little line over from here. 
Then we're going to draw a curved line that goes down off the paper and a curved line that goes down off the paper. Same thing on this side. A curved line that goes down off the paper, curved line that goes down off the paper. So now there's some hands holding on to the base of the, he's holding on like this, he's holding on to the string for the kite. So now we need to draw a string on here. So we're going to do lines back and forth lines back and forth. This is the string wrapped around the middle there. It's going to go from this to this, just like that. Got it wrapped around. And then we need to draw a string that comes from here. And it's going to go way up and it's angling off to the side because it's a strong wind. So that kite's blowing off to the side. Way over. It's going to go way up in the air because it's up in the sky. Angle up like that. And then we can draw the kite on top. So the kite's going to be a triangle shape, a nice triangle shaped kite. So we're going to draw two lines that come off like this. It almost looks like a big Y. And then we're going to do two lines that come up like this to meet at the top. So the nice, nice kite shape here. And then we're going to draw a plus line right through it. So we're going to draw a line from this corner to this corner, and from this corner to this corner. You got a nice kite. And then usually the kite has something that helps it fly. It's got these dangly things that come down. So it's going to have this dangly thing that comes down, but it's going to be blowing in the wind too. So we're going to make it blow in the wind like that. And we'll draw some little ribbons on there. There's like triangles that are connected to it triangles that are connected to it. The wind's blowing it way off to the side. So that's our nice strong wind day. And then we have gale force winds. And in gale force winds it is way, way too windy to go out there. Because in the strong winds you can go out there and fly a kite, but it has that yellow flag warning you, you probably shouldn't go in the water. But on these days, when it's gale force winds, you better not go anywhere near that beach. So, we are going to draw something else blowing, way crazy blowing, because it's gale force winds. So I'm thinking maybe we can draw a palm tree blowing in the wind, like it's just going to fall right over because the winds are so strong. So we're going to start at the bottom and draw a rectangle. And then we're going to draw another rectangle on top of that one. And then as we start to draw the next one, it's going to angle. So the lines are going to angle a little bit. And then the next one, it's going to get a little smaller and the lines are going to angle a little bit. And the next one, it gets a little smaller and the lines are going to angle. And you're going to just keep going and it's going to keep angling and getting a little smaller each time it goes up. Keep angling and it's getting a little smaller each time it goes up. Getting smaller and smaller and smaller each time it goes up. And then we're going to draw the palm trees but it's going to be such a strong wind instead of the branches going down like this they're going to be blowing in the wind so they're going to be like big branches like this. They just look like big spikes coming off. And then you'll draw the little leaf parts coming off of those. And they're going to be blowing in the wind. Those are just like zigzag triangles. Zigzag triangles blowing in the wind because it is such a strong wind. It's like holy cow. Look at that blow. I'm going to draw one more here. Same thing. It's going to be bending because it's such a strong wind. I'm going to draw those leaves coming over. And the same thing down here. I'm going to draw one more bending in the wind and draw those leaves coming over like holy cow. Look at that wind. And then I'm going to, my, my tree came right up over top of my horizon line so I'm going to erase that because you wouldn't be able to see that line behind the tree. So I'm going to erase those lines. 
because the tree is in front of that line, so it would cover it up. All right, so now we have some nice details in our artwork. All righty, great job.